Since last week, the news media has been busy churning out content echoing a talking point propagated during congressional testimony by President Trump's disgraced and disbarred attorney Michael Cohen claiming that Trump will not allow a peaceful transition if he loses the 2020 election. Journalists and pundits utilized Cohen's remarks to warn about such outlandish post-election scenarios as Trump using the U. S military to cling to power, raising a private army of mercenaries, or deliberately igniting a civil war. Cohen is a convict who pled guilty to, among other things, lying to Congress in two separate prosecutions. The prison-bound Cohen also pled guilty to violating campaign finance laws and financial crimes, including tax evasion and bank fraud. In his closing remarks before the House Committee on Oversight and Reform, Cohen stated given my experience working for Mr. Trump, I fear that if he loses the election in 2020, there will never be a peaceful transition of power. After the credibility challenged Cohen's internationally televised testimony, John Dean, President Richard Nixon's former White House counsel, wrote an op-ed for the New York Times in which he drew parallels with his own defining testimony against Nixon. Dean used the column to say that he shares Cohen's fears. Dean opined that Cohen's warning about a violent transition was the most troubling, actually, chilling, thing he said in his five hours before the committee. He further wrote since Mr. Cohen's warning came in his closing words, there was no opportunity for committee members to ask follow-up questions. So I double-checked with his lawyer, Lanny Davis, if I had understood Mr. Cohen's testimony correctly. Mr. Davis responded, he was referring to Trump's authoritarian mindset and lack of respect for democracy and democratic institutions. Indeed, what is most similar about my and Mr. Cohen's testimony is that we both challenged authoritarian presidents of the United States by revealing their lies and abuses of power. Mr. Trump is the first authoritarian president since Mr. Nixon, and neither he nor his supporters will play fair. Mr. Cohen will be dealing with these people the rest of his life. In fact, all Americans are affected by the growing authoritarianism that made Mr. Trump president. These people who facilitated his rise will remain long after Mr. Trump is gone. We need to pay more attention. Diana Peace published in the Miami Herald and other publications, syndicated columnist Leonard Pitts Jr. Warned, should Trump lose in 2020, a smooth transition is not guaranteed.